Welcome back to the Fast Hiking Channel. Ah, as you see, it's raining. It's typical Swedish weather this time of year. My name is Perula. Yes, it's pronounced like that. And I'm a Swedish guy who makes hiking videos, or you can say outdoor videos. Yeah. Before we before we start this video, I want to ask you if you want to subscribe to my channel and give the film a thumb up if you like it, because it should help me with the algorithms on YouTube. So let's start this film. <laughs> was not so easy to be quiet every, every door and floor it <laughs> didn't sound oh the time is I think 6 30 18 degrees yeah, and the roads to cross Was a, as always a nice <laughs> alberg. They have a lot to do when I arrived because they also had a restaurant. Yeah, I slept at the room with uh, 16 beds. In the beginning we was just five, but uh, in the end the room was full and it was really hot and warm this night. So it was hard to sleep. As usually I slept as best when the others start to moving in the morning. So I don't have not slept the best this night, but uh, now I'm on the road again, so it feels okay. I thought having a little pain in my shoulders during this night. I cannot understand why, but um, now, I'm, now I don't have it anymore. I think it is like that during a hike, long hike. Your body reacts in different ways. I've had, I have to thank a girl behind me because I was walking in a crossroad now. And I didn't see any signs, so I look around. And I think I saw a sign, but she said it was a parking sign. But uh, uh. anyway, she had an app, and it showed that we should go straight ahead, and we did. And Yes, we are on the right track, so thank you very much for the help. I think it's funny how, they, how you can meet so fantastic and interesting people in Dalberg. Young and old, and uh, this time I met a woman from Indonesia. She live in Canada, but are now walking the Camino. And uh, yeah, her name was Liki. And uh, yeah, as always, when you meet new people on the Camino, you have interesting conversations, and she had a really interesting story to tell. So thank you Liki for the time we spent during the dinner. The sun has st still not <sighs> come up. So I think it's 24 degrees right now. It's pretty warm morning. And I saw at the weather forecast that it should be a really hot day today. But it's a beautiful morning, as always. Just before the sunlight comes. Ah, I'm walking here and I'm thinking about uh, if I can find any difference from the 
from five years ago when I walked in the Camino. And the first thing I think of that it's not so crowded as I thought it should be. And um, the prices has slightly moved up and that's I understand because <laughs> the cost does it also. You can find an alberg from five to nine euro, often the municipal alberg. The privates are around twelve, you can say. Uh, the pilgrims menus are around twelve to fifteen euro. I think they are pretty similar, all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I see the signs can be new. The surroundings have grown up. Yeah. So it's pretty similar. People are very nice. In general, so are they so nice? Both hikers and uh, the owners of the Alberg. So I think it's it's great. Yeah. <laughs> So first village of today. <laughs> As always when I take up the camera <laughs> in car games. Ah oh, it's so funny. Now it's silent again. The first village for today. Do they have coffee here? I hope so. You know You go up in the morning, you pack your things, probably you have packed the most of it the day before, you should not disturb others, you take your things outside, you, you put some sun protection on, I have 50, and then you start walking, and the first thing you want to have is breakfast, or yeah, in my case, coffee. I think I can smell coffee. <laughs> we'll see. Buen dia. Hello. Buen. Yeah, they have coffee. Buen dia. Es dulce. You have orders to stop there. Okay. <laughs> I think he knew that he shouldn't go in there. <laughs> I think this type of breakfast is okay. It's not the best breakfast, I understand that, but this is the easiest way to have something to eat in the morning. This time it cost six euro and it was really good coffee. I enjoy it. My socks is start to give up my second pair, but I still have two left. So I, oh, I have to throw them away.
sun says 220 to Santiago, but uh, you saw earlier said 200 to Santiago. It's always like this when you're hiking. You never can trust the signs. <laughs> yeah, you never know how long you walk in the end. And uh, does it matter? Answer that question. You can uh, do a comment in below. Okay, after leaving Pieros, you have a choice to do. You can walk the original way and walk 7k or you can walk along the road and um, just walk 5.7 I will follow the original way why do I choose to walk an extra kilometer mm, I don't uh, think it is an extra kilometer you know this is not the race and uh, my body feels good and I maybe need this time on the road because I should learn something so it feels good When you arrive at the points there, there are alternative. Uh, I don't think you should think that somebody judges you. If you want to walk less kilometers, it's okay. And if you want to walk to, yeah, whatever, it's okay that too, because it's your Camino and your shoes. I think this is a famous view on the Camino, just before Villafranca de Bierzo. It has been a fantastic morning, perfect weather to walk in, and all these views, <laughs> they're amazing. And I, it's a lot of grapevines. So I, lo I love to walk through these wine yards. <laughs> and it's, uh, I'm almost alone. <laughs> I just see a few hikers, some on bikes. So I am arriving in Villafranca de, del Bierzo and uh, here you have the alberg. I will show you. Here is the alberg. Hospital del Peregrinos. For me, everything started 2000 when I heard about the Camino first time. Then I read the book, 
was written by Paulo Coelho, The Pilgrimages. And I had a friend who walked it. And I discovered that this can be something for me. I started to look at videos at YouTube and start reading about the Camino or what I thought the name was El Camino. And then 2014 I did my first Camino and now I'm back at that place. 2014 everything started for me in this roundabout. I started my first Camino to Santiago here in Villa Franca de Bielso. So now the circle is completed. So in the center of Villa Franca. Yeah, nice here. I think I will have a second breakfast or something. Yeah, I will go over here and see what I can find. It's Monday, so things can be closed. Hola. Here at uh, Villa Franca de Bierzo you can uh, do two choices. One is to walk along the road up or uphill. Uh, I have walked the part up uh, through the mountains. They say it's uh, heavier uh, and I will not do that this time either, even though we walk along a road. Yeah, let's walk Thorvard Osebrerio. Here you can see the two way to walk, the alternative road to the right. When I'm now looking at the map, I can see that uh, to Trabadello, this way I'm walking now, it should be uh, 9.6 kilometers and you will pass through at least one village. If you take the other way, it's 11.1 and you go up in the yeah, yeah you can say up in the hills 
without passing any village. So your shoes by yourself, as always. So I'm leaving Villa Franca di Bierzo and start climbing. <laughs> but yeah, just in that moment when I turn the video on, I go down here. <laughs> but I will, will uh, walk up to 1300 something height meter. If I don't reach Usubrero today, I will do it tomorrow. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this village, but Pereje, maybe? Uh, are you here? The big road is just the side. Uh, we are a bit away from the cars. It's nice here. So, nice buildings. Do you think I can buy me a ice cream here? Ah, that would be perfect. I think it is a bar here. No, it's closed. Look. It's so sad. Yeah. I like this. Look. They didn't remove the stone and they build the house. Nice. <laughs> remember that I hit my foot in a stone and turned a leg and I, I think I got a bit injured in my right uh, leg it feels after after walking for four hours or something like that, it starts hurting. But I, under, I know that it's just the muscle that uh, don't like that I walk too much. <laughs> it's overused, you can say. <laughs> but uh, with a little of massage and rest, I can get go. No problem. Soon in Trabadello. Oh, it will have been a long walk beside this road, but now, ah, here you can see the houses, and I can see a restaurant, and I will stop there because I need energy. I am really low of energy, and I need some food. Now, uh, I, the clock is not 12 yet, just before, so if I can rest there for 20 minutes, 25 maybe, 
I will continue 5k more or something like that, I think. That will be perfect. So that was a good stop. I got the mixed salata and a lemon and I also went against my philosophy and took a little small beer because I was tired of water. So I had 30 minutes there. I will walk at least one hour more. It's 15 minutes past 12 we are now and it's 28 degrees outside. I think I can handle that. It was also good that I could charge my my camera during the time I was eating. So now I can continue to show you how the road is. I haven't seen so many other berg here before that I can do now. I think I've seen it at least four or five. They have a lot of solar plates, <laughs> what do you call it? Yeah. And uh, I think I am at a truck stop or something like that. I think they have changed this since I last was here. I will look at this stop here. I think they have some fruits. Okay, I go back to the right side. <laughs> so I'm back. I will show you what I bought. I bought this. <laughs> so good. So fresh. So big. So there is the house. I remember. Yeah, they have made this truck stop bigger than since I was here last time. Oh yeah. It starts to be hot now. Oh. So look here. 174 left two. Santiago. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. That's good. Really good. Okay, and here it says 190. So you can choose which sign you will follow. Ah, oh, the fruits here, they, they taste so amazing, so good. I think I can live on fruits. <laughs> but no, 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 not only eating. We have to walk also.
it's Monday and many of the cafes are closed. And I think also they have closed some of the Albury. This one to the left here is closed. I saw the sign earlier. They look the same, these villages. Can you see the difference? <laughs> okay, if you can, uh, tell me where I am. Put the comment below. <laughs> It's an alberga to the right. Yeah, maybe. At least this is more. I will continue. No, it looks like I want to stay there. Look at that. The cars are driving up there. Try and see if this is open. La Magdalena. Ring the bell. Okay, I, I call the bell and the guy comes out up there and will now come down. We will see. Hi. Do you have a bed? Yes, you're looking at a private room. So, this will be my bed for tonight. Eight person room, big shower, possibility to do laundry in machine. I haven't done it for a long time now, so I need to do it. Yeah, I am on the countryside and I like it. Really nice guy who has this, this alberg, La Magdalena, perfect.
Adelante, adelante. Bueno, ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Bien. And now some YouTube information. If you like this video, give this video a thumb up and uh, share it with your friends. And I would be happy if you would subscribe to my channel and thereby support me. Thank you. Time is uh, half past seven. I slept really good. Uh, I sure shared my room with Liana from Croatia, Tim from Australia, and Bernie from Hungary. Liana, she started, I think, something around five this morning, and we either took it easy. And I think it will be a really good weather today, also. Not a cloud in the sky. Uh, we will be climbing up to 1300 meters Usebrerio and then uh, I have planned to continue I think that will be fine have you have an ATM I just used it uh, sometimes you need to fill your pockets with cash because it's uh, only cash in some albergs and restaurants and it's a lot of, of uh, cash machines around i use those with attached to the bank there are many others but mm, i don't know maybe they are really good or not they cost this around three just under three euro to do a withdrawal yeah. It's a really nice morning. I walked now for a few minutes and uh, had a really nice dinner yesterday with uh, Tim and uh, uh, yeah, Bernie and uh, Elena and uh, Anne from US. And the owner, he also sat down with us. Uh, we had a uh, nice discussions. Yeah, it's a calm morning, a bit chilly, but I'm walking in shorts and t shirt. I love this the forest oh. and the Italians in front of me. <laughs> they are fun. Uh, can you see the sunshine? The sun is coming. And look to the right. The construction of the roads.
Can you see the bull? <laughs> oh, fantastic. He is big. It's further than. Look at him. I don't think I will stay here because look at this <laughs> fence, it's not so. But look. I didn't want to stay when the bull is coming. <laughs> it's so big and the fence is so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I hope I will find the uh, water source here. I need water because after this uh, village we will start climbing. And uh, if I remember right, this, there is no possibility to fill water for a while. An hour at least. Hmm. I also hope I can have a cup of coffee here. So the sun has arrived and I am back on the road again after a short break. Coffee and some bread and marmalade. That was my breakfast for today. Now I am ready for climbing the hills up to Usebrerio. I'm looking forward to that. You can rent the horse if you want. <clears throat> Not my business because I'm allergic to horses. <laughs> so I have to walk. There were no water fountains that I could use. So I have almost a half a liter of water with me and it's not hot. So I think I can make it up to next village without any problems. Yeah, now it's uphill. Yeah, in front of me is the split of the road. Earlier if you was a biker you took the bike along the road and uh, we who are walking we will go down in a ravine and then start climbing again through the forest. Yeah you can see it in, in the markings on the road. So here we go. Buen camino. It's the really um, beautiful part of the day, this day's hike.
Okay, we are really walking us up through the forest. And it feels, uh, it's a fantastic nature. So green. So I'm almost up now at the village. It's a tough climb, but I know ev everything has an end. And also this hill. Still going up. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> oh, I you have to look back. Look. There it is, the water fountain. Hola. It's not the same as before. It was a nice jazz bar last time I was here. Many things happen during the pandemic time. Yeah. So I will continue. Yeah. So I'm leaving this village too. It's like that all the time. You arrive to village, stay there a short time, and then you move on. That's the life of the, on the road. We have four more kilometers to climb up to Usebrerio. Hello. <laughs> good.
días. Farmer, farmer. See these cows. I don't really know where we are. We're just walking through this collection of houses. There is an alberg. It's possible to have a rest if you want. Take something to drink or eat. It's just a few k more to Osebrey, so I will continue. I don't know if you can see it, but over there it's a red dot. That's hikers. They come from here. We walk this around that hill and up there. Yeah, I have the same plan. Yeah, yeah they have this. When, uh, they have this nice alberg there in Fonfria. What is your provision of right to the Santiago? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have, roughly eight, eight of August, maybe. Ah, oh, it's perfect. I won a ride in the seven. Yeah, but. Uh, if I arrive uh, in the 80s, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. You can push if you want, but it's not needed right now. It's a fantastic view. And uh, yeah. like that. See you. Yeah, I see you. Uh, that was a typical conversation between two hikers when you meet. You don't know anything about each other but right now the most common subject subject to talk about is when you will arrive in Santiago oh this is new here is the stone from Galicia So we are near Osibrerio. Just a few hundred meters left. And I'm walking here with Bernie from Hungary. Hi. <laughs> She's faster than fast hiker, I can say. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Siberio. Well, Siberio is a village. There, the houses is, as you see, made of stone. I will just go up to the church.
So I have with this church, uh, and I think you should if you are here, because it's a very very old church, and has a lot of meaning for the Camino. If I remember right, this uh, story about the priest that uh, made many things for this Camino to Santiago. I will try to look up this history and maybe I can do a link to it. Yeah, okay. I will continue now and see if I can find something to drink. Yeah, when you arrive in uh, Osebrio, you also need to be aware of that it is uh, more tourist, more business. Uh, because this is a place that very many people want to visit when you are here in Galicia. Even though they, you are not a hiker. I will show you the amazing views from Osebrio. We have a really clear day today, but I know that the clouds are low on the, my right side. So look at this. Only nature can do this. Uh, the village of Osebrero is not so big. And if you wonder where the alberg is, I will show you. If you want to stay in Subredio, this is Dalberg. And my Italian friends will stay here, I see. <laughs> Just... <laughs> but now I will continue. I thought it should be the last hill when I came to Osebrerio, <laughs> but I have to climb a little bit more, just a few meters, yeah, I can handle that. So, I'm descending. Ah, that feels good. Now I have the heavy part behind me. I have climbed all three major mountains on the Camino. First the Pyrenees, then in to Cruz de Ferro, and now to Osbrerio. I maybe have seven days, six, seven days to Santiago now. But I take one day ahead. We'll see. The Andes, I think this is the Andes, and I see a parasol, and maybe I can have something to eat there because I'm really low on energy right now. No, 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 I could not get any food there. Ah, it was a shop, so I could buy biscuits and like that. So I got a little more energy. The lady who had the shop says there is a restaurant in two kilometers. So I will arrive and at Alto de San Rouge at 1270 meters altitude. Ah, there it is. Pilgrim.
Okay, I admit I'm a bit tired right now. It was uh, having to walk uphill and uh, yeah. After eating a uh, tuna pie and drinking a Coke. Yeah, you heard right. I drink Coca-Cola. <laughs> uh, so, will I continue? I feel a bit better now. I rest for at least 25 minutes. So, from Fria it will be. I think it's uh, one hour and 50 minutes to from Fria from here. This is a hard part. Yeah. It's uphill. I'm walking here with my new Camino friend from the Netherlands. I don't know his name yet, but Jan. Jan. Jan he started for 100 days ago, and he's walking to Finisterre. He just opened his door, went out from home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I'm out of order. <laughs> Yeah, gone fishing. <laughs> now we can see the top. I know what is up there, but I don't have a tally on it. But now he can see. Do you see? Bocadillo! <laughs> Coca Gold! <laughs> yes! For a beautiful woman! No, that not me. <laughs> but the cola I know. <laughs> Yeah. What a view. Look at that. Ah, perfect. I love this place. Did you take a bus? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm just, I didn't see you on the way. Uh, Did you go another way? Uh, no, I, I took uh, a train. No, I, I have a bike and was in a restaurant. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, good to see you. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Are you going to continue? Yeah? What? Are you going to continue? Yeah, I'm going to from Fria, I think. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go to track seven. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you there. You're tough. You're tough. <laughs> <laughs> So we continue. I left John there at the restaurant. We had a nice talk. Uh, I also met Tim from Australia. I learned to know him from yesterday. Uh, he will walk to Triacastela, but I don't think I will go there because I'm not in a hurry. I have enough time before I have to fly home. So I will try and I hope they still have an alberg in Fonfria where I stayed before and that was a good stay. I remember it so well when I was there. So I hope that I can stay there. So here you have an option. You can walk along the road and you can also walk an alternative road and 
This time I will take the alternative road. Yeah. We'll go this way because this is the alternative road. Uh, it's not longer or so, but I think it should be a great view. We'll see if I have right. I took the alternative road and of course I had to walk uphill. I come from there. I will continue up here. Yep. And now I also have a hat on my head to protect it from the sun. It starts to be hot now. But instead of walking along the road, I will walk here. Yeah. I think I arriving in Pomfria. I thought I saw some of the house in front of me. Yes, they are there. I am descending down to Pomfria. Dun, dun, dun. I'm so happy about that because I'm a bit tired today. Look at this. Casa Gallego. I can't remember that. Can they have built a new alberg? Maybe. So here I'm back on the original way. That if you have fall of the road, you come that way. Here it is. Re Alberg Reboleria. If I remember right, you see the house down there with the ruined roof. We had the dimmer there. Yeah. And here is Stella Berg. Let's knock on the door and see what happened. Yeah. Uh, it cost uh, 12 euro for a bed and uh, also 12 euro for the dinner. I put this out later. But now it costs I'm worth it. This is if you want to rent a bike. Where you check in? Here's the bar. machines here but I will handle it. There are holes in this, this socks so I have to let them go. Bye bye socks. Here they also have this, so they have at least 50 beds, and I know they have rooms also if needed. If you want a room, you need to book it. 
so I am going to the dinner which is in the building on the opposite side. You buy a ticket and then you come in and you give that man a ticket and then he show you where you have to sit. So I got my place over here. It would be interesting to see what what the dinner will be today. <laughs> As you see, I'm the first one here. I'm hungry. <laughs> so I now I need to take rest and also charge all my stuff for tomorrow. So I can continue to film. Good morning. I'm ready to start walking for today. You see uh, this view in the morning. <laughs> the time is almost eight and I'm still at the Alberg. But uh, now I have eaten breakfast also. Yeah, I was a, really, uh, a bit stressed by the clock when I wake up, but uh, I had a really good sleep. I was dreaming a lot. <laughs> then I realized that I have a plan to go to Samos today and it's only 20k. Uh, vacation on the Camino we joke about. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Yeah. See you in five years. The Camino. <laughs> yeah. Camino. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah, I can recommend this place. We had a really nice dinner yesterday. We eat rice and we had meat and there was a lot of it and we have wine to that, yes wine, <laughs> always wine, <laughs> maybe I have to start thinking about that, yeah, and this was generous, so I'm, my stomach is full. I uh, slept very well and now yeah I have not planned for any uh, rest days so let that, this be a rest day then start late and walk a bit shorter than normal I can also tell you that I now not have any tape on my feet I think my blisters are healed, so uh, mm -hmm. we'll see how, f how long that will continue. <laughs> I hope I will wait to Santiago, <laughs> which is about ah, seven days, ah, six days. I will take it calmly from here down to Santiago because I don't need to rush. It's possible to do it faster, but uh, no, I don't need to. What a nice morning. As you can see, clear blue sky, the temperature maybe 20. Du har en bra dag så vi hörs snart igen. Ja, det är bra. Tack. Hej då. Jag talked to my father. 88 years old father. That felt good. Så... So, uh, <laughs> that's why I'm talking a bit Swedish. Ja. <laughs> yeah. 
I will show you uh, the clouds soon. It's hanging very low, so it's under the level I am at now. Look at this. All clouds has gathered <laughs> over the valley. I think only the nature can do this. What a fantastic view. And the sun is coming from the right. It's not uh, 20 degrees that I said earlier, it's only 16. But it feels like 20. It's not cold at all. Can you see how the cloud is moving slowly? I'm soon in the same level as the clouds. Harry sitting to the left and having breakfast, I think. <laughs> I have already done that. Ah, they have a parking place for a tractor. <laughs> okay. Uh, a little chapel. Nice. With an old stone, Camino stone. Yeah. Oh. The cows is lying down, sleeping. So nice. This morning is so nice. <sighs> yeah, I know uh, people says that the last uh, 100k you should be, oh, it's bad or uh, oh, like that. But I think you should uh, not listen to all of that. I know it's crowded uh, like that, but I think you can handle the situation to find a bed if you book ahead or yeah, start looking early at around one o'clock or something like that. Um, because this part of the trail is one of the most beautiful parts, I will say. So you should have time to watch the nature, all the animals, the nice people that are here. So just look at this. It's clouds. Clouds moving, and can you see the island? <laughs> it's a hill, of course. Wind uh, windmills on, or wind turbines. It depends how you want to call it. Anything can happen on the Camino. <laughs> when I'm walking here and look at this wonderful, magic and magical uh, situation that uh, the nature creates, I lost my uh, button in my trousers. <laughs> uh, so then early <laughs> go down to my feet. <laughs> ah. I think only nature can do this. The clouds are moving slowly, slowly.
Look, it's the clouds climbing up the hill. That's magic. You can see behind the hill how the clouds move to the left very fast. And then it comes to middle and then it goes back here on this side of the hill. So I have to solve my situation with no button. You see here, I lost it. And uh, what can I do instead of losing my pants? <laughs> I put uh, uh, this in my pants. It's from the backpack. <laughs> and I can continue to walk. And I have my trousers on. <laughs> Okay, we will dive into the clouds here. And I feel the temperature, how the temperature goes down. descending into the clouds and I feel the cold wind oh. amazing like someone touched my skin with a cold breath I'm walking here and uh, I laugh for myself <laughs> because I love it. <laughs> Maybe it can be like this. Something happens that you don't are prepared for and it makes all the things that you are you have faced for a few uh, days and now it's something different. <laughs> And your mind is, oh, what's this? Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Watch this. Cool. The drain drops. So I come into this uh, village and do they have dogs here? Yeah, they have <laughs> two really big dogs, but I think they were chained. Oh. This is the first bar, I think. A second bar. We can take a second breakfast, but I will continue because I think it's <laughs> I'm pretty wet by the moisture in the air, <laughs> but uh, it feels good to walk. You don't see so much of the how it looks on the side of the road, so you focus more that to walk. And it works very well. It's not warm at all. It's not cold. It's perfect hiking weather. And uh, that's why I don't stop now. I will walk. I will go on down to Tria Castella. If I'm right, it's just a few K left. It feels in the legs when you're descending. Yeah, it does. It uh, feels more than you, when you are going uphill. We all have our different techniques, how to handle it.
<laughs> they had a funny dog <laughs> walking with them. through farmer's land <laughs> I will say farmer's land um, many dogs lying to the right and the left but they stay calm and I like that Some, sometimes it feels like I'm walking into a farmer's backyard <laughs> but uh, no we're still descending a little. You see, it's cow shit every, uh, all over the road, new and old. I wonder where this door can take us. Ah, we take it another time. If you wonder where the alberg is in Tria Castella, it's down there. So, now uh, uh, when I'm arriving in uh, Tria Castella, you can say I'm halfway for today. Yeah, past the cafe. They had a discussion. Yeah, and um, I will continue to, to Samos, as I said earlier. But I need to have a second breakfast. <laughs> so I will find me a place and have a d coffee and something. Yeah, maybe a croissant. <laughs> I love those. And uh, the Napolitano for, uh, and the orange juice. Yeah, that's good. So I will do that, take a rest, maybe I fix my trousers. <laughs> I also have to change battery in my, um, my hearing aid. So yeah, I will do that. Oh, are you here? <laughs> I saw you in Ustabrerio. Yeah. All empty, time to go. So, now we continue. <laughs> uh uh, not the black cat over the road. That's not good. I spit over my right shoulder. So now I arrive uh, at the point where you should choose way. If you want to go a shorter way, 
you will go to the right here and if you want to go to Samo so when I which I will do it's 7k more you go to the left <laughs> I talked to a couple who stand stood there <laughs> and they, when I left was so sure about what I did they was uncertain oh why do do he walk the longer one <laughs> so I had to explain for them that I have walked that part twice and never this and I will stay in Samos so yeah, that is a really nice walk the other also so now I am on the road I never walked before when did us So I have 20 to Saria. Mm. Not today then. <laughs> I have walked in three kilometers along this road. It's a nice walk today when it's not so hot, uh, fresh air, I like that. Now when I can uh, compare with other way to Saria, I can understand why most of the hikers take that way. Not only because it's shorter, but it's not like this, walking along the road. But I have heard that after Samos should be a fantastic way to Sarja. So I will wait until I, con uh, I judge. I will go down here. Yeah, okay. And suddenly I came to a graveyard. Wow, so strange. Ah, oh, so strange. That felt very strange. I just passed through some houses, uh, old houses, uh, a little bit worn out. And uh, suddenly I, I was uh, uh, just, uh, yeah, I, I almost went into the graveyard, <laughs> you can say. Ah, oh, that was strange. I have walked for a few more kilometers and it has been different than the first three. This is really nice. Should go down here? Okay. It's a bit hilly, but okay.
walked uphill for in a part of this trail and I felt that <laughs> I have no idea how many minutes or hours is left to Samos if I guess 20 minutes yeah. remind me What is the time? The time is 11.47 to be exact. You can read that one. It was not 30 minutes, it was just a minute. <laughs> because the time is now 11.48. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Yeah, but I'm not in the village yet. I think that is the monastery. I like this green wall and the than the white walls from the house. <laughs> so this is Samos, oh look at it. Wow, what an amazing building.
Okay, you can stay here in the monastery if you want. It's open for uh, half past one. So, <laughs> yeah, and they have a petrol station, I think. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Or not, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I will uh, not stay here. Clock is just uh, have just past twelve, so I think I go. I follow my feelings, and uh, my feeling is that I should continue for Saria. I know it's uh, three hours to walk to Saria from here. Uh, the time has just passed 12. And I think I can uh, find somewhere to sleep in Saria. It's a big city. So I don't see any problems with that. So, And uh, Samos is a really small village. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but get the feeling that it's very closed down here in this valley yeah I will continue I decided now I don't trust the, the distance. Did you remember that I show you a, a stone with 142 or something on? And I have only walked for one kilometer since that. And then it was, what was it, 126? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You never know how far you walk. And do you care? Ah, maybe you want to know when you arrive <laughs> in Santiago. Okay, I read that it should be an easy walk to Saria from Samos. I don't know if this is what they call easy. Oh yeah. Almost there. Hundred and twenty five point four hundred seven seven oh, left to Santiago. <sighs> it's a lot of small churches or chapels along this way and graveyards, a lot of them.
the last 5k I haven't seen any place to refill the water bottle uh, there were a restaurant maybe a, a kilometer off the Samos but after that I have not seen a place uh, there are water uh, in some uh, places we have a uh, not river we have a stream just down here and from uh, the side here it comes water sometimes uh, but uh, to use that water I think you need a water filter uh, to be sure that it's drinkable and I don't have any <laughs> yeah There are not many pilgrims walking here, especially not this time of, of the day. Time is two o'clock and uh, I've seen three or four maybe since Samos. So I think now I have to catch uh, up with the other hikers who have walked the other path from Tria Cristela. Uh, it's uh, about four and a half k from here to Saria. I've seen this now many times along the way. And they have closed Alberg. I have visited this Alberg once many years ago. It's sad that it's not possible anymore. So I can see that I soon will reach Saria. See some houses, a collection of houses, you can see. I think I have a still two and a half kilometers left. But I think it smells coffee. <laughs> yeah, watch. Yeah. And that was funny. <laughs> I met, uh, do you remember the couple uh, in uh, Tria Cristela when uh, we should choose the way to Samos or not. I met a guy from that couple, now he's waiting for his girlfriend. And uh, <laughs> I could tell him that ah, I, I don't think they miss anything. <laughs> Just a big monastery. I have to say it, uh, okay, absolutely nice walk, but uh, it's also, you cannot refill any water after Samos. And uh, if I should choose one more time, sorry Samos, I would not go, go that alternative road. It's a really amazing large monastery, but uh, yeah, yeah, I leave it like that. in the outskirts of Saria. It's been a long day. I started a bit late. I hadn't my plan was not to walk to Saria today. But when I arrived in Samos, yeah. I felt I couldn't stay there. So I had to walk. And I did. And now I will find me a bed I know I will somehow 
So I'm in Saria. The time is 3 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's 29 degrees Celsius. <sighs> yeah, I'm happy for this day. It's been a really nice day. And walk. I think I will go into the center of Saria before I look for somewhere to stay. I already passed at least three alberg. I think it's made by flowers. Yeah. I think I will go into this store. So I bought me, me a pair of new socks because I have now only two left and it's a liner socks. And uh, I discovered today that the liner socks is too thin. Uh, so it's not good for my feet. And with these shoes when I wear now. 11 euro. Maybe you think it's a bit expensive, but I hope it has a little better quality when I hand wash. Yes, this is the stairs of Saria. And we should go up there. <laughs> that was heavy. Okay, I will try this. Casa Don Alvaro Alberghe. I don't know if they have a karma. We will see. So here is my room, number five. So I paid a little more than uh, other albergues I saw on the way. Uh, this alberg cost me 15 euro, but you see, I got my own bed, no one above me, when we are five in this room. Perfect. Oh. Here is also an inner garden and there are some rooms you can use. There is a kitchen Here if you want to buy beverages. You do the laundry here. They, you can machine wash but it costs six euro. I think that was a bit too much. So I washed by hand as I normally do. Then you go upstairs here. And up there is the laundry. Yeah. Yeah, here's a view from the Roof. Not bad. Oh, yeah. I am a little bit tired. Yeah. And here you can relax. There are also private rooms. 
yeah now I will go and see if I can buy me a bottom to my trousers who seeks he find <laughs> yeah and I found button to my trousers I have just walked I have just passed through uh, Saria before but this time I stayed and I'm really happy for that because I got new socks I got the uh, button to my trousers and uh, I also have a nice stay at an alberg and I am a bit tired so it would be perfect for me to just be at the alberg when it is not so many people and I can make my own dinner and take a time for myself I think I need that the funny thing was that in the store uh, where I bought uh, button, they played music and they played Lily and Susie. It's music from Sweden. So, yeah, that's strange, you can say. I walk into a store and they play music from home and old music like the 80s, 90s. Now I have to walk back to my alberg. <sighs> yeah, it's uphill. Tomorrow this street will be crowded because Sara is a town that many hikers start to hike because you need to hike at least 100k to get the certificate and you need two stamps today so many starts from here so now i will show you what i bought uh, caesar salad some, some yogurt fruits jamon bottle of wine bread aquarius and good cheese and my bottle 20, 21 euro. I also got some plasters, but they were cheap. You see that Aquarius there, one and a half liter. You normally pay two euro just for 33 centiliters in a bars. Now I paid 180 for one and a half liter. We'll see what this is. <laughs> I don't know. Salute. 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 While editing this video, I found that this section would be too long if I included all the material I have for my walk from Saria to Santiago de Compostela. Therefore, I decided to split part 5 in two parts and name the last part Saria. So if you want to continue watching my walk to Santiago de Compostela, choose the film Saria that soon will be released on this channel. Mm -hmm.